April 15, 1961, the scramble for news out of Cuba. WTVJ news anchor Ralph Rennick on the story. Station personnel rig up a shortwave radio. News is scarce. The Bay of Pigs invasion beginning to ramp up. Throughout the city, Cuban exiles glued to radio broadcasts out of Cuba. I'm standing in one of the many anti-Castro recruiting places scattered throughout the city. Rumors that Cuban Air Force pilots had defected had turned against the regime. Suddenly, the developing CIA war against Castro's Cuba arrives for all to see. A Castro Air Force bomber lands at Miami International Airport. ¿En cuántas partes fue alcanzado el avión? No he visto el avión después de 14. WTVJ's Manolo Reyes on the story. And it was a ruse, a CIA plant, the bomber. One of many launched out of Central America to bomb Castro's airfields, but this one pure propaganda. The pilot flew it right to Miami to stir up the home front. Bay of Pigs vet Freddie Flacker remembers the pilot. That happened, I think, a couple of days or three days before the invasion, so he did fly an invasion. He was one of our heroes. Miami was a buzz. The coming invasion? A worst kept secret. There was anticipation beforehand in the community that a military action against Castro would be getting underway. Official Miami on alert. The mayor speaks. We urge the Cuban colony and the exiles that are here to retain their calm and their composure. And the Miami mayor, way ahead of his time, also speaks to the community in Spanish. Y rogamos a Dios que la libertad de Cuba. Because he was Miami's leader and he would have spoken to this since this community had grown so quickly and was so passionate. Uh, in their anti-Castro fervor. In Miami, April 15th, 1961, 50 years ago, hope, emotion, rumor. Within days, the Bay of Pigs invasion was on.